Hey, it's Austin. I made a quick video on how to change out your power steering pump on your E90. I have an E90 335XI. The process is probably still the same for the 5 Series and the Before E90. Before we get started, if your car sounds like this, you may not have a bad power steering pump at all. If you start to feel it in the wheel when you're turning, then your power steering pump is probably bad. But if it sounds like this and you don't have the play or the roughness in the wheel when turning, then most likely your alternator, uh, alternator pulley bearing is bad. E60 socket to remove the dry belt. So you're going to act like you're tightening this socket or this area right here. There is a special tool for that that has a bar on it from ECS, uh, ECS tuning, but I didn't feel like I needed it and I did it without it, without it. But to do that, I did have to remove these two bolts that hold on this intercooler, or uh, charge pipe, wait, that would be an intake pipe. So I did have to remove that and pull it back to be able to remove that dry belt. But you don't really need the tool, you just need the uh, E60 socket. So to remove the power steering pump, first thing I did was remove the radiator so you have plenty of access, or not the radiator, the radiator fan, so you have plenty of access. The way to do that is, on mine it just had one screw on this side, and then it has this tab here which you pull up, and then pull the radiator thing straight, or the, the fan straight out. It also is connected to the intercooler pipe right there, which gave me a lot of trouble. You have three bolts that hold on the pump. Two that are easily to access, and you can see them, which are these two on the front of the motor. Those are not even a problem at all. You may even be able to get them with the radiator fan on if you are willing to do that, but taking the, the fan off wasn't that hard. Then there's one bolt on the back side that you can't really see, and then you got this hose that goes on there so focus on getting the two bolts off the front first and then getting access to the last bolt so to get access to the last bolt i did remove the alternator but i don't really think it was that necessary you have to reach down here and the bolt bolts in sideways to the block and they're all e12s that hold on the power steering pump you're not going to really be able to see what you're doing down there you're just going to have to feel for it I also took this off just so it will give it a little bit of playroom to move down there because the hose is connected from this to the power steering pump. So it's just these two 10 millimeters, uh, 10 millimeter nuts right here. And then make sure you save the little spacers. So I put them under here so they don't come out because they're going to fall out of there. It's also a good idea to go ahead and flush the canister and uh, turn the wheel side to side to get the rack, all the fluid out of the rack as much as possible. You will need a pulley puller to pull off the pulley from the power steering pump. And you also need a T40 Torx uh, internal socket and you need a T30. And then for the external Torx socket you need an E12. You don't have to remove this line but it's a good idea to take it off and flush it out. Here's the bolts, make sure you clean those really well. It looks like there's a filter inside of this, or a ball restrictor or something. This probably prevents, this probably prevents uh, contamination from getting inside of the, probably prevents contamination from getting inside the steering rack. This one right here goes on the pump. Here's the back bolt. The wrench is on it right now. It's right in front of the power steering, or the lines that go directly to the, the rack. Put this back together with this cooler thing right here. Make sure that this line right here tucks 
underneath this. So the bolt will be right here. It was a little confusing. I had to redo it a couple times. These are the two mounting bolts. So start those first and then put the back bolt in, then tighten the back bolt, then tighten the two front bolts. And put this on without this pulley so that it makes it easy to put in. Otherwise you have a lot of interference with this these lines here. And then you can slap the pulley on and bolt it on. That concludes this whole video. The only other thing that I didn't put in there, I guess, was putting the belt on, which is kind of hard for me to do that with holding the camera and all that stuff, so I didn't do that. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty basic. If you can't put the belt on, then you probably shouldn't be doing this job in the first place.